Hello guys, I'd like to show you something quite important uh, today and that is the ability to override something for a specific platform. So let's take this Hello World application for instance. We're going to create something very elaborate like uh, have a button and another multi button and that's, you know, this really, really complex application right there. So let's say this is a great application for a phone. You will run it on a phone that will be a smashing hit. But say, for instance, you want to run this on a tablet. Well, on a tablet, it it will just look like a phone application that's upscaled. Or you might want to adapt it for Android or do all sorts of things like that. So for specific platform adaptations, whether it's a tablet or whether it's a specific type of tablet or phone, we have overriding platforms. Now you will notice that you can pick a platform of a wide selection. You can't pick an individual device, but you can pick a family and make an adaptation specific for it. So you can make a specific adapt adaptation for iOS, which might be useful if you want to just customize the icon to look specific for iOS and differently than the Android convention of icons. So you can do that using this particular feature. Uh, you can do something specific for Android tablets that's different than what you would do for the iPad, but you can also do something generic for all the tablets or something generic for all the phones. Now the default will work by default, this is the base resource. The override will override it for that specific type, so you can override for tablets and then override specifically for the iPad, and that way you can have several layers of override and, uh, and that sort of thing. So I selected overriding platforms and uh, selected the tablet as uh, the target. And this means that every change I make here, like add a new resource, will be only reflected on tablets. And I can add a new resource that's specific for tablets. I can add stuff there. And I can also replace an existing resource. So for instance, this main, as you can see, if I select it, it sort of uh, seems uh, grayed out and has this notice that says that I need to override to modify. So what does that mean? As you can see, there's this little disabled green uh, checkbox right here. And if I click it, then the main suddenly becomes enabled and everything becomes enabled. Uh, and that means that I've overridden this particular uh, resource entry for tablets. And now every change I make here will only be reflected on tablets and vice versa. That means things I change in the base theme will not be reflected here. So that's very important. That's why you shouldn't overuse this feature. And I'm going to delete these things because there's two specific to phones. And I'm going to put multi-list right here. So now this is how the UI will look on a tablet. And it's very important to save them right here. And now I can return, return to the base theme, and as you can see in the base theme, it looks like this. But if I move back into the tablet mode, it will look like this. And that's really, really useful. So let's move into the, uh, the simulator and see how this works. So I can just run it right here. And as you can see, the UI uh, takes the look that we've set as the default, essentially. But if I switch to a tablet uh, user interface, I'll get a different UI. And that's the value of this particular approach to building user interfaces uh, using the override feature. So thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and that you don't make uh, too much overuse of this particular feature.